Hey guys, it's Chris Atkins with the Car Wash Chronicles and welcome back to my channel. I just got back from Arizona. We were there for six days. So the last time I was actually at my car wash was Sunday. Today is Saturday, so six days ago. And thank God for my trusty worker. He looked after the car wash while I was gone. Any problems there was, any graffiti he removed, which gave me peace of mind to uh, enjoy my trip. And that's the beauty about a self-serve car wash. You don't actually have to be there to make money because I went away for the week and I'm coming back to all the cash, which today we're gonna do a count. I'm gonna show you what it did for the week. It actually won't be for the week. It'll be from Sunday to Saturday, so six days. But anyway, the weather was good this week, so I'm hoping for a good count. Today, we're gonna to count the Main Street car wash. So that's my best one. So come along and check it out. So again, it won't be a full week count. It'll be just short. It'll be six days. But one thing before I get to the count, I want you guys to do me a huge favor. Just hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for me. So as you just saw, it was pretty busy. It's Saturday and there was two cars waiting when I pulled up. And there you have the back of the car wash with the vacuums. Of course, I waited till all the customers were gone to film, but now we're gonna head inside. There's all the equipment. And we're gonna start with the vacuum. So here we go, vacuum number one six days worth vacuum number two and there was actually customers at the other vacuum so as you can see i have an orange bucket now and the other coins are inside so vacuum number three and now vacuum number four i do plan on getting two more vacuums before summer and here we have bay four and five, completely full, six days worth. And it was a good week, good weather. Here we have bays one and two, completely chock-a-block, which is what we want. We like to see it full. And this is bay three. Bay three is completely full too. Look at all those tokens and quarters. Yep, definitely adds up. So we've got to count all this now, but we've got to get the vending machines first. Oh, completely empty. Quarters only in the vending machines. Move on to the armor roll. A little bit of quarters. Believe it or not, it adds up. And now we move on to the black ice, smelly trees. Leave the car smelling delicious. Didn't sell too many of those. That's all right. And then we have the glass cleaner. Let's see how that did. Not bad, not bad. I don't fill them all the way up just because it's so hot. I don't want them to go bad. And that's the vending machine money going in with the rest of it. And now we're gonna go into the bill changes and get the cash out. My worker had to get that stack out because it was getting too full. As you can see, it's very full. And we like it full. Lucky I got the big stackers because I was away for six days. Otherwise I would have had to get emptied every couple of days. But it just keeps coming out. What a great week it was. And there you have it. That's one bill changer. Good thing I have two. It's always good to have two because bills do get jammed from time to time. So if one's down, at least you got the other one to back it up. And the cash just keeps coming. 
Yep, nice and full. I think it was about 90 to 100 degrees every day for this week. And there it is in all its glory. I just want to show you what happens when someone puts a dollar in. There it is, getting accepted. And you can see right here, one dollar, and it dispenses it. And now it's time to count the tokens. So this coin machine, it separates the tokens from the quarters, as you'll see. Spits the tokens out there and spits the quarters out the side. Thank God for that, otherwise uh, doing it by hand will take me forever. There we go, tip some more in. And then the tokens get recycled back into the hoppers. Definitely can't let them get empty. Otherwise the machine's done. So we'll keep them nice and full, topped up. Ready for business. And the second bucket. Like it never ends. So you'll see the machine got stuck here. That's because the dollar coins won't fit through. So I just got to stop it. I got to clear it out, take that off, lift that up. And there should be a dollar coin right there. And there it is. Put them aside. Usually I'll get like 10, $1 coins every count. Buy a little uh, Chipotle with it and continue the count. There it is total number of tokens so i just got done counting the tokens again this is just six days worth not a full week six days so the total token count was 3287 and now it's time to count all the quarters for six days moving on to the quarters and these are all the tokens that aren't from my car wash people bring them from outside chuck e cheese and whatnot there's the dollar coins let's begin counting the quarters So I'm going to stop it at 2,000 just because when I take the bags of quarters to the bank, I like to make it 2,000 quarters right there, which is $500. That way they can deposit it straight away, don't have to send it off to count. Even though they do anyway, they just correct it if I'm one or two off, doesn't matter. But I just like to give $500 bags, keeps it simple. And usually I get about two or three of those a week. And there you have it. Straight to the bank. And to continue the count. There it is, last little bit. Let's see what the total is. 3,271. So I just got done counting with the quarters. The total is 3,271. So we divide that by four, which I think is like $817.75 from my uh, memory bank, but not bad. Again, six days, not a full seven days. And that's all the quarters right there. That bag will go to the bank. 
I'll take those quarters to the other car wash and make more bags. And now we're home and there's all the cash. What I have to do now is separate the ones from the fives from the tens and the twenties. So here we go. So 24 hours later, I'm done. There's the fives, there's the tens, and the twenties. And of course the singles. So we're gonna start with the singles. We're gonna count them in lots of 100. And we're almost done. And there you have it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve hundred and forty-five dollars just in singles. So now we're gonna wrap them up in my hundred dollar wraps. Ready for the bank. And now we're gonna do the fives. A little more exciting than the ones. And there you have it, stacks of 500. Put the rest of it in. Another stack of 500. And 280. So $1,280 in $5 notes. Next we're going to do the 10s. Another 500. And two 10s. So 710 in $10 notes. And finish with the most exciting ones, the 20s. Well, not that exciting. So if we add all that together in the cash, we have $3,395, $817.75 in quarters and a total of $4,212.70.